The Nigeria Civil Society Situation Room has criticized the lack of inclusion of persons living with disabilities in Nigeria. The Situation Room, which held a dialogue with the Albino Foundation to provide an opportunity for stakeholders to discuss issues of disability inclusion in Nigeria and develop practicable strategies for improving social, political, and economic inclusion of persons with disabilities in the country says the federal government has refused to consider almost 30 million Nigerians living with disabilities in its affairs, policy trust and decision-making enterprise. The co-convener of the Situation Room, Clement Owako, says more needs to be done in making Nigeria an all-inclusive society where persons living with disabilities can live without their rights being infringed on. When one person is left behind, others cannot move forward. And that's the reason for inclusion. Um, we cannot have an open, inclusive society without ensuring that everybody is recognized and every society is committed to the people that makes up that society. There is no development issue that lacks the component of disability that will succeed. What should we do to ensure that um, everyone is caught in understanding that there's an important need to ensure that all citizens are provided uh, the full opportunity of participation in, in life, in, in governance, and in all aspects of uh, living in this country. Disability inclusion for me is all about understanding the relationship between the way people function and how they participate in society, and making sure everyone has the same opportunities to participate in every aspect of life to the best of their abilities and desires. How successful inclusion has been attained is what we all, I mean the stakeholders, should try to attain in this strategic dialogue. Based on the latest data from the World Health Organization, there are about 15% of the world, world's population, which is over 1 billion human beings, live with one form of disability or another. So it's a very huge topic. And therefore, the era of ignoring, neglecting, stigmatizing, and insulting those living with one form of disability or another has gone for good. And we are now facing the era of disability inclusion, which means to make the social space wide enough, roomy enough, to accommodate all human beings irrespective of the form of uh, mental or physical or social disability that you are living with. We are saying that we have impairment, but impairment is not enough to restrict our participation. And that what is restricting our participation is a barrier that we face as people with impairment in the society. And so it is the interaction of that impairment with those barriers that is producing the disability. So the disability is not with us, it's with the society. It is where society is being constructed, leaving behind some set of people. A one-size approach uh, you know, uh, 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 system is what is excluding us.